People say dropping Mentos into Coke can create a soda geyser, and some folks have even staged massive shows using 101 bottles of Coke and 532 Mentos. To figure out what's really going on, Adam started small. One bottle of Coke, one Mentos. The soda shot 10 feet into the air. Jamie guessed the reaction was all about the carbon dioxide in Coke. To test that, he released all the CO2 from a bottle and then dropped in a Mentos. Nothing happened. Next, they compared plain soda water with Coke. Since soda water only has CO2 and water, the reaction was much weaker than in Coke, showing that Coke's other ingredients also play a big part. They tested a bunch of popular sodas and found that Diet Coke gave the most explosive results with Mentos. That inspired them to build a Coke rocket. Using PVC pipes, they rigged up a rocket powered by four Coke engines. But the bottles were too heavy, and the thrust wasn't strong enough to beat gravity. They tried a few different designs, but no luck. There just wasn't enough power to actually launch it. So they switched gears and aimed to break the height record for a Coke fountain instead. At the time, the world record was 18 feet. The only way higher was to improve the nozzle. Adam built two aluminum nozzles, and with those, the Coke blasted 34 feet high, a brand new world record. Whether anyone has beaten that since, well, that's another story.